Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the second to last video where I show you guys all my jersey collection. I went through all 32 NHL teams and this leaves two videos. One will be my European jerseys, which is to the right and to the left already a little preview. Today it's about my AHL and defunct team jerseys. There are 15 jerseys, so this could be a little bit of a longer video. I hope my voice will hold. I'm still a little bit ill. But let's try it. Let's get it on. And let's start off with this one, with an AHL jersey. The Fisherman. Yeah, the Islanders brought back the Fisherman last year with the Reverse Retro 2.0. And their AHL team, the Bridgeport Islanders, said, okay, we're going to do that as well. And White Islanders Fisherman jersey. I think this looks fantastic. I love the striping. I love the logo. AHL jersey, so CCM, good quality. I like this jersey. The Bridgeport Islanders with their fisherman. Next, we have a home and away jersey, also from an AHL team. We have Johnny Canuck, so the Abbotsford Canucks. The home jersey, the green one, and the road jersey is the white one. We do have the skate uh, stick and rink logo here on the shoulders of both jerseys. These are absolutely fantastic. I love the silver outlining of Johnny Canuck. He looks really good. Striping is okay. I love the color, the green especially. This looks very elegant. I love these jerseys. Two times Abbotsford Canucks and their Johnny Canuck jerseys. Then uh, let's go to a jersey I recently unboxed. So I will not talk about it that long, but it's an AHL jersey, so it belongs into the series. It's the San Jose Barracuda and their gray jersey. I absolutely love the Barracuda with the stick. This looks fantastic. I like the teal. I even like the gray. Very surprised, but I do. Striping is good as well. Laces, love them, fantastic. But the main part of, part of this jersey is the Angry Barracuda. This looks fantastic. So, only four AHL jerseys. Now, let's get right away into defuncted teams. I do not have them in any special order. Just let's get it on. And let's start off with this. Adidas Team Classic jersey that I got about a year ago. It's the Atlanta Flames. I was always looking for an Atlanta Flames jersey. Yeah, they moved to Calgary back in 1980 or 78, something like that, a long time ago. And yeah, it's hard to find an Atlanta Flames jersey until Adidas came out with this Team Classic and I absolutely love this jersey. We have two more here of the same team. The Colorado Rockies. The Rockies, yeah, they moved from uh, Denver to New Jersey. It was also in the early 80s. I think it was 82, 83, something like that. They wore these jerseys when they were in Denver. The home jersey was the blue one at this time. I'm almost sure it was. And the road jersey, the white one, but let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong with this. The blue one is a CCM vintage jersey, which looks really good. The striping with the yellow and the red on the blue jersey, this looks cool. We have the same striping even with some blue on the white jersey. From these two, I would say I would prefer the white jersey because, yeah, I like white jerseys. That's why also I'm wearing a white jersey. And yeah, I will come to that jersey later on. <laughs> The Colorado Rockies, their home and their away from the 80s. Next team. Two jerseys as well that I got from the Oakland Seals slash California Golden Seals. The wordmark jersey. Yeah, of course, this was the blueprint for the San Jose Sharks and their reverse retro 2.0 jersey. This time with Seals. The green and the yellow on the jersey, I think this looks fantastic. I like the laces. This as well is a Adidas Team Classic jersey. I'm very happy they brought this as a Team Classic. Not as happy as for the Atlanta Flames because, yeah, Atlanta Flames. <laughs> Seals, I already got one, which is this one. The logo jersey, this, yeah, the seal here in gold. California Golden Seals. This is a CCM Vintage jersey that I got from uh, Van City Sports. Both of these jerseys are very, very lovely, and I like them a lot. Next team. Two jerseys as well, or is it three? No, it's two. We do have 
the Hartford Whalers. Yeah, Whalers jerseys, so lovely. The green one is uh, CCM Vintage once again. It has Pucky the Whale here on the shoulder. The green version of the Whalers jersey, the iconic logo, the lovely striping. It's fantastic. I love it. I got this one um, from Van City Sports as well. The blue one, Adidas Team Classic, that came out last year. The logo looks very good. Striping is okay. And a little bit of gray. Uh, you wouldn't need this on the blue jersey, but okay. The iconic Wales logo, of course, this has to be. Adidas Team Classic this time. Lovely jerseys from a team I hope will come back, but I do not think that we will ever see the Hartford Whalers again, unless the Carolina Hurricanes decide to wear them again. I love the Whalers. Next up, we have one, two, three more teams to go. And I will save this to the end. And let's go on with these two, which are both, both Minnesota North Stars jerseys. Yeah, of course, I unboxed this jersey recently, the Mitchell and Ness version of the North, North Stars. The logo looks very good. I love the black that went into this jersey later on in the North Stars existence. And this is an original CCM. Everybody said, hey, this is a Dallas Stars jersey. No, it's not. This is from the Minnesota North Stars the year before they moved to Dallas. So I think it was 95, 96, something like that. The year before they moved to Dallas, they already had this jersey. You can tell the difference clearly. The green is a little bit brighter on the North Stars version and there is no shoulder patch. If there would be a shoulder patch with the outlines of the state of Texas, this would be a Dallas Stars jersey, but it has not. So this is Minnesota North Stars, like the other one, Mitchell and S, I recently unboxed. These jerseys are okay. The classic jersey, of course, it's a rarity to call this a Minnesota North Stars jersey. There are a lot of Dallas jerseys, but they almost look the same. But this is a North Stars and I'm very proud to have it in my collection. Now my voice starts to giggle a little bit. Yeah, sorry, still a little bit ill and recovering from uh, flu, cold, COVID, whatever. Uh, I'm just on the way to get better. And I hope this will help me now by looking at two Quebec Nordiques jerseys. The Nordiques, yeah, I would love to see them coming back. Two jerseys. This is a CCM Heroes of Hockey with uh, Michel Goulet on the back. He was a very good player and this jersey is absolutely fantastic. I love the Fleur de Lille here at the bottom, the Nordics logo with the red and the blue and the white. This looks very good. And recently, also I think last year, this came out, the Adidas Team Classic of the Nordics. It also has the Fleur de Lille. The logo looks a little different. Yeah, where is the white coming from in the Nordics logo? Ask question to this, please, to Adidas Team Classic jerseys. They designed, the, they designed this one. The original was this one, of course, the CCM Heroes of Hockey with the red on the Nordiques logo. Adidas then turned it into white. It doesn't look bad with the red outline, but it's not the original. Quebec Nordiques, I would love to see them coming back. Let's see if this ever happens. And finally, the last jersey, one more, and this is the reason because I'm wearing the Winnipeg Jets jersey, not only because of this heritage jersey, is one of my absolute favorites. It's in the top five of my collection. The last time I looked, it was number one. Let's see if it still is. Maybe in summer I will do a video about my favorite jerseys once again. Let's see. But spoiler alert, this jersey will be in the top five. And the Winnipeg Jets, of course, they came from Atlanta. They were the Atlanta Thrashers. And my only Atlanta Thrashers, Thrashers jersey is this one, which I think was an alternate for the Thrashers, the blue version. This is a fantastic jersey. The logo, lovely. The Atlanta word marked down the sleeve. This is unique and yeah, fantastic. We have this net like material along the jersey here on the side. And of course, this is maybe numbered the Ilya Kovalchuk jersey number 17. He was the best player in the history of the Atlanta Thrashers and was for quite some time all-time scoring leader for the franchise. 
even though he never played a game for Winnipeg. And the Thrashers, Thrashers franchise moved to Winnipeg in 2011. So it took Blake Wheeler quite some time to catch Ilya Kowalczuk, who only played for the Atlanta Thrashers. Lovely jersey. Let's see if the NHL will go back to Atlanta. Let them decide if they expand at all. And then let's see if Atlanta is in the books. All right. That's it for this one. Let me know in the comment section below which team is your favorite of the jerseys you saw. Which jersey is the favorite you saw? I'm still in the hunt for some other defunct teams, especially the Kansas City Scouts. I would love to have a jersey from the Scouts. Right now, until this point, this is not in the cards. Let's see what happens in the future. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and this part of my jersey collection. The final part will be the European jerseys. This will be out in, I think, six days. And then this series is finished. I hope you enjoyed all videos of these series. I will link them once again, playlist up in the corner, if you want to rewatch all the other videos. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you soon with my European jerseys. Until then, have a good time. Goodbye.